Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the mode of a data set. Now the mode is the value or multiple values that occur the most within a data set. It's even possible to have no mode. We will see what all this looks like as we go through our examples. Starting with number one, where we have the number of runs scored by a baseball team in each of their first 10 games. Now, it's not necessary, we don't have to, but putting the data in order from least to greatest can be helpful. It makes it a little easier to find the mode. Let's do that for number one. The rest of the examples will already be in order. The lowest number of runs is two. So let's start there. So we have two, then we have three, then we have one, two fours. So one, two fours. Then we have one, two, three fives. One, two, three fives. Then two sixes. And then we end with seven. So which value, which number of runs occurs the most? Well, two occurred once, three occurred once, four occurred twice, five occurred three times, six occurred twice, and seven occurred once. So five runs occurred three times, which was the most. So that is the mode. So the mode is five runs. Let's move on to number two, where we have a classes geometry quiz scores, and this was out of 10 points. So two students earned four points, two students earned six points, four students earned seven points, four students earned eight points, three students earned nine points, and two students earned 10 points. So which scores occurred the most? Well, seven occurred four times and eight occurred four times. So we have a tie, so to speak. Both seven points and eight points occurred the most. So our modes are seven and eight points. So seven points, and eight points. Let's move on to number three, where we have the ages of employees at a business. Let's find the mode. 24 occurred once, 28 once, 34 once, 38 once, 41 once, 48 twice, 50 once, 51 once, and 55 once. So 48 years old occurred twice, which was the most. So that is our mode. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have the number of daily customers at, let's say, a restaurant over the past week, so the past seven days. Which value occurs the most? What's the mode here? Well, 75 once, 92 once, 97 once, 106 ones, 122 ones, 131 ones, and 145 ones. Well, each of these values occurred just once. We don't have any values that occur more than the others here. Again, everything just occurs once, so we don't have a mode. Let's put no mode. So there you have it. There's how to find the mode of a data set. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.